This video is proudly brought to you by Club Aquarius. Welcome back to MildurawEekly.com.au and this is another edition of State of Play. It is the A-grade Millwood Netball Association Grand Final this weekend between Werrimal and Nangelok. Today I'm joined by Werrimal's Anna Thompson. Anna, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. No, we really appreciate your time, um, I guess, ahead of this weekend. How do you rate the season for the Werrimal girls so far? Um, yeah, it's been a really successful season for all over all our grades. Um, but, you know, it's always nerve-wracking. Finals bring such a different competition to the to everyone. So um, I am very, you know, you've got to go in with confidence. We finished on top, but anything can happen, you know, it's, but it's been a successful year. Yeah, I guess how are you and the girls feeling ahead of the game? As you said, you finished on top. You managed to get the week off leading into the grand final. What's the feeling amongst the side right now? Um, you know, there's very mixed feelings. The top four were a very competitive top four this year. You know, we've all lost, we've all won. So going into the grand final, you can be anyone's game. You know, we did lose to Nanji early on. Um, we did have a successful win the other week to them, but that means nothing at the end of the day. Anything can happen come grand final. They have, Nangelok have such a diverse, competitive team. They have so many players that can play anywhere. Um, It'll just depend on their lineup, and it'll depend what our lineup will be on the day as well. And you know, it could be anyone's game. Well, I guess that's obviously going to make for a really good spectator point of view as well. The fact that it could be so even across the court. Yeah, hundred percent. There's nothing like grand final day. The emotions, you know, are wild. You've got the crowd shouting. Um, anything can happen. We do have a few younger players playing their first A grade grand final, so. You know, they've got a big step up that they have to um, get to. But, you know, we have lots of experience as well with lots of players that have played in Wurrimal Grand Final Premiership teams before. So that's nice to have that experience there as well. And for someone like yourself, who's pretty much uh, been born and raised around the Wurrimal Football and Netball Club, um, what is it about Grand Final Day that you love so much? Look, um, there has been talk that, you know, do we change it away from Lake Clollerain? But to be honest, you know, there's no better feeling than going out there on grand final day. It doesn't matter that it is, you know, 30 minutes away. The crowd is still huge. People still come and support. It's probably one of my favourite weeks of the year. Um, you know, the emotions run wild. And, you know, just to have everyone support your local team. You've got all your farmers. It is the heart of the Millawa. So it's just great that everyone comes around and everyone supports it. It's obviously a fantastic atmosphere out there and it will be for this game. Uh, I guess what are some of the strengths you feel of your team that could uh, help potentially lead you to a back-to-back -back premiership? Yeah, we do have a little bit of a different um, team and a lineup from last year, but I think that's not going to change. You know, we do have really good experience. We've got Two, the, our two goalies have, are both Premiership players for Werrimal, um, same as our centre court, same as our wing defence. Um, it's just really our defenders. I've come back into Werrimal this year, so, I've, so. But you know, I have played. I have played previously, so you know, we've got in every in every third we do have a you know we do have a lot of experience. So I think that's going to help us succeed on Saturday, hopefully. And I guess that experience, not just uh, during the seasons, but also finals experience as well. Do you think that's going to help the younger girls that are part of the squad this time around? Yeah, 100%. Like, you know, anything can happen grand final. Anything can happen in finals. Um, it doesn't matter what team you, you have. Any, you know, it all changes come finals and everyone knows that. But I think... Um, with us having our experience and putting that forward, it's going to really help the younger players. It's really going to, you know, build their confidence up as well because, you know, it is, you know, it is a lot of pressure to go out there on Saturday and put on your best performance when you've never played in a, you know, a senior grand final before. And obviously, there will be a little bit of pressure coming from the other side as well. Nangelok not having won an A-grade premiership, so do you think you girls will be feeling that there on the day, or are you going to be focused more on your own game? Um, look, you always go out and focus on your own game, you know, focus on as a team, but yeah, that, that thought is always there. Nangelok do have a very strong side and, you know, honestly, it can go any, either way. Like, I couldn't even tell you, you know, someone has better odds than the other because, yeah, they do have so much experience. They have such a versatile team as well. 
you know, Kathy, you know, is the heart of that team and she's an, an unbelievable player and, you know, if she has one of her amazing games that she can just change anything in the centre court and, you know, that's something that we'll definitely have to focus on. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a fantastic contest. Anna, thank you so much for joining me and all the best for this weekend. Thank you. And thank you again for joining us here on MildurawEekly.com.au and make sure you stay tuned for more videos. This video is proudly brought to you by Club Aquarius.